Hi, this is John with another look at the YX SMT550. In this video, I'll dive into an issue I had with placing components in the correct orientation. Here's my test job. Notice the two left-facing diodes in the middle. They're backwards. In my second test, I fixed the top one. In the rest of this video, I'll show how I fixed D4, the second one. First, some background. Components come on tapes with orientations aligned with one of the cardinal points. Here, the IC has pin 1 at the top left. Next, tapes are mounted in feeders that can be attached to the front or rear of the machine. Notice that the components in feeders mounted in back are <coughs> backwards. Finally, the job's centroid file defines the component placement angles. The machine's software must integrate the tape feeder and part angles as it places a component. I first assumed that the high-speed cameras would do it, or maybe the feeder file import, or a feeder setting? Nope, it seems that each component needs to have its own centroid angle manually changed to take into account these differences. On the right I have the job file open and I'm editing the blue line for D4. Note that the starting angle reflects the camera found fiducial locations. Right-clicking brings up a menu. I need to flip at 180 degrees. Okay, now to test it. Note that the changes are all what I expect. I'm going to kick off an individual test. And bingo, it worked. I have two software enhancement requests for YX. The first is to add a feeder property for the original tape rotation and second, to automate the 180 degree front back rotation compensation. There's no excuse for doing this manually. Thank you.